The oil we use today was formed deep in the Earth's crust millions of years ago. Our planet looked very different then, and the animals that inhabited it were dinosaurs. We call oil a fossil fuel because it comes from fossils, which are formerly living organisms like plants, animals and bacteria. Even though we've been using oil for around 4,000 years, for construction mostly, it is only in the last 150 years that we have tapped its true potential. Inside the oil there is trapped sunlight, absorbed mainly by plants but also by animals, millions of years ago. So, strange as it may seem, in our modern world we use resources left to us by the sun a very long time ago. After the oil has been pumped out of the ground, it is taken to our refinery and many others around the world in large tankers and unloaded into storage tanks. What happens next? The first stop in the refining process is called the distillation column. This is where we heat the crude oil to very high temperatures. This process separates the oil into different parts, or fractions as they're called, according to their boiling points. Each part has different properties, making it useful for different applications. For example, the part or fraction with the highest boiling point is refined into bitumen for roads and roofing. At our refinery, those parts with a lower boiling point, which are now called distillates, are taken to a hydrotreatment plant. This is where we remove impurities such as sulphur and nitrogen. The result is very clean oil that is put to good use all around you. In fact, there are traces of our oil everywhere. In car tires, printing inks for newspapers, books and magazines, rubber, plastics, PVC and much, much more. So, the next time you see a little plastic dinosaur, it may actually contain tiny traces of actual dinosaur fossils dating back many millions of years.